The one kilometer high Jeddah Tower. What are the structural challenges? Is differential shortening of concrete a big factor in your design? Let's find out how they did it. I am Earl Bonita. Join me in Structure Institute. Welcome back to Structure Institute. I'll be sharing with you real-life stories of structural failures, practical industry practices, and structural engineering advancements so you can learn and apply today. The quest to be the tallest building in the world seems to never end. Jeddah Tower, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Once done, it will be taller than the Burj Khalifa of Dubai and be the tallest building in the world, previously called the Kingdom Tower, and is expected to boost the economy of the city with a massive development in the nearby areas. And the Jeddah Tower will be the centerpiece of it. The height probably about a kilometer tall, it will be the first man-made structure to reach one kilometer in height. The tower is mainly a residential occupancy, hotels, offices, executive suites. Let's dive in on how they design it. The structural system is configured in such a way that there are no columns, no outriggers. Basically, the main lateral system are all walls coupled with coupling beams supporting the flat plates of around 250mm thick. Differential shortening as the concrete cures is not the major issue since the loads are transferred through these shear walls and joined together by coupling beams, 6,000 of them which helps create the required stiffness. To withstand the most critical wind loading, several wind tunnel tests are conducted. Because of the achieved stiffness of the layout, the building behaves well during these tests. Even the building is slender in nature. There's no bedrock. The tower is supported basically by a piled rough system consisting of 5 meter thick concrete rough and 270 board piles with lengths varying from 45 meters to the corners and up to 105 meters at the core of the tower with diameters ranging from 1.5 to 1.8 meters. The construction process is to raise the walls immediately and followed with the slabs on the latter part. In that way, the pouring will be faster. The construction phase progresses well since the groundbreaking. The construction began in April 2013 with a challenging timeline of 63 months. However, in January of 2018, the construction was on hold, nearly about one-third on the way of completion of the tower, due to some issues with the principal sponsor following the Saudi Arabian purge. Currently put on hold as to the new completion date, we don't know yet. Although in February 2020, news posted the vision of 2030 Kingdom of Saudi Arabia showing the perspective of the Jeddah Tower. Judging by this, completion date might be on 2030. What do you think? Is this the new completion date? Comment down below if you think otherwise. So I think that's it for now. I hope we learned something today. We have a new video that will be coming up every week. Consider subscribing and click the notification bell to be updated with the latest videos. 